Uh, sorry, which group is going to which station? Oh god. Hello? Hello. Play this three on one. Jackie Snow. Okay. This Ooh. is a paid automated Somebody message from the Telegraph the Delivery line. Services. Okay. The person delivering this message cannot make uh -oh. themselves available at this time. Your package has been delivered to the tomb in the Los Santos Cemetery. Please make your way there as soon as possible. This package should contain a tape paired with a Walkman. It is not music, however. There is a spare tape in a green rental food hoe in the parking lot of the cemetery. If you do not find or receive either of these packages, you will be re-instructed on where to find another. Do make sure that Jeffrey Bundy also receives this package. To repeat this message, oh. press 1. 1. <laughs> Hello, Jackie Snow. This is a paid automated message from the Telegraph Delivery Services. The person delivering this message cannot make themselves available at this time. What Your package has been delivered to the tomb in the Los Santos Cemetery. Please make your way there as soon as possible. This package should contain a tape paired with a Walkman. <laughs> it is not music, however. Tape. There is a spare tape in a green rental food hoe in the parking lot of the cemetery. If you do not find or receive either of these packages, you will be re-instructed on where to find another. Do make sure that Jeffrey Bundy also receives this package. To repeat this message, press 1. I think I got it. Okay, that was fucking weird. That was an automated message that told me I need to go and pick up a cassette tape and a cassette player that's in the cemetery. There's a spare one that's in a green futo, and I have to make sure that gets to Bundy. Okay. I do have a 12 gauge. All right. I know Rose needs this, but we, it's said to get there as soon as possible. Or right, let's go around the corner. You think? Oh, green food, so. But where was. Where would the. Uh, I wouldn't. Let's not touch that yet. It's, it's meant to be in another location in the cemetery. Alright. But where? 95 is being brought out currently. Uh, when I looked at 9 and see anyone else, I don't like coming here at all. I'm gonna try it. What is the cemetery? I don't think we'll enjoy coming here. There's a couple of spots I want to check. The first one's... First one's down here. Sorry, was that Hover? <gasps> believe the last one. Oh, oh God! Up. Uh, I fucking hate it down here. Yeah, I'm surprised you're going unarmed. I have a Just gun a reminder, back. Gulag Gang's going to MRPD and Seaside is going to Boston <gasps> PD. 3676 to Boston PD. Charges are easy. Gang related shooting plus any illegal possessions. Firearms, dongles, anything like that. Uh, oh drive. my god. Oh my god, it's fi- Oh my and god. And Daisy, once you guys are okay. Busy, oh uh, god. We need to get the ball. fuck out. We need to get the fuck out of here. Okay. I have it. I have what we need. Yeah. Alright, we need to I need to we need to listen to this shit. What is it about? What is it? We're transporting oh, about? Subarus over to the them. Uh, Perfect. I'm on my way. Well, the note on the tape is says the title is Lighthouse. Artist is nobody. And both N, N and B are capitalized, and B when and it shouldn't be capitalized. And the initials there uh, have been put in. Are for Norman Bones. There. Do you remember that case? Probably can you verify? Uh, fucking last a long time ago. He's dead. Oh, not so much. So he, uh, this is a very long story. TLDR, he, I, he was at his lighthouse where we dumped his body. Bundy's house was like dying. All the plants were dead. Uh, they were like crows dropping fucking skulls and bones and there were skeletons all over the fucking place. And then I saw Norman Bones at that lighthouse. I talked to him. I also mag dumped him. It didn't do anything. Then the other night we tried to kill him because there was this flower that was like, you know, was dying. And he said, as soon as that flower dies, then he's going to come and take something from Pez. 
um and uh the plan was to take is to pull out the flower and kill it and then blow up his lighthouse and shoot norman with a bullet that was blessed by a priest or some shit and now when i heard this plan i was like what the fuck is going on here this doesn't make any sense to me at all i didn't even know i could bless a bullet what the fuck does that even mean at the end of the day it's still a bullet and it didn't kill him and i knew that was it wasn't gonna no, that wouldn't fucking work because i already mag dumped him once and it didn't work that time so why would it work again are you on drugs no, I'm not on drugs. This all happened. Okay. Jenny was there he's as well. He's dead. No, he's not. I was there when we shot him. Okay, well, whatever. I don't think he's even alive. What he is now, he says he's the god of death and he sends people to fucking, you know, purgatory or hell or whatever the fuck. I don't know. But he is the god of death. I don't know how else to describe everything that happened, but the other night I saw, like, there was, like, insane amount of fog. The fucking the weather changed. There were fucking crows flying around. Uh, there was, he had some fucking electric shit on his hands and then he, he was like, Jesus, I, I, I don't, I know, I, I know I sound nuts, but that's, that's what happened. Okay. Um, right, so let me get this straight. We've got a man who looks like Norman Bones because Norman, Norman, Norman Bones is dead. So we've got a man who looks like Norman no, Bones. It's up him. At the it's him. Where we I dropped, spoke to him. It's him. Where we supposedly dropped off his body and then we've got crows which live in the natural habitat of the sky and suddenly we've got Norman Bones. Yes. Right. So, we tried to kill him. We blew up the lighthouse. And in the explosion... Now, we've got two differing stories here. Now, in the explosion... Pez said to us, who was right there... Pez said that Norman dragged Cleo in with him. In, into the lighthouse. As it, as it was collapsing. So the suspicion right now is that Cleo is dead. Huh? Like Cleo Cleo? Yeah. Fuck, that was quite... She actually did? Yeah. There's no way she could survive that. The whole thing crumbled down. It was insane. And wh why would you... Why did you just blow up the lighthouse again? To stop Norman. The man who looks like Norman. No, it's Norman. I know I sound fucking dumb, but it's true. Yeah, hold on one sec. He's gonna look for legislation. Shut up. I'm listening to this tape. Okay. After all ah! that time, all that planning. No, Pez! Oh. The timing, bro! Holy fuck, the timing is just insane. Hey, well, you're, are you good? What are you eating? Uh, cookie. Oh, how is it? It's fresh. Oh, Doughy. I haven't been able to, I haven't been able to eat the last 24 hours. So. Yeah, I think I understand. Um, um I need, I didn't actually get to talk to you. Uh, how, how are you holding up? Honestly, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck hey, I even Paul, saw the other night. Hey, Paul, do we not have a 50 program not anymore? Um, we do. Well, Snow's talking about a dead man's free? life. I might, uh, someone told me something that might make me think Norman's still alive. Oh, well, um, uh, no Norman need. Bones, I can confirm the that he is. Shot the block. I was there. I just got a, uh, he's dead. He's dead. I just got something. What do you mean he's not fucking um, dead? Not you as well. I don't know what you it know, is yet, I'm, but. You mean take a son? Yes, he is, yeah. That would mean Cleo's alive then. He's dead. Maybe. He's him. Remember what he said he did with Dundee? Like I don't know about you, I, but you know, I never, I never, I never thought I'd fucking say this. But he is, but I'm contemplating fifty-one fifty. I mean, he's just, he's not right. I no, I have white on my hand. Cleo, if if the, it, so I, I'm the one. You know what? I'm, if he's alive, alive that means Cleo could have survived. So we didn't shoot him at the block. Potentially, but I don't want to give you false hope, Pez. Oh, we did shoot him. I've I'm shot lucky. I don't know what's happening. Oh, thank My you hands are shot to shit, just trying to pull this rubble apart, trying to get in there. What the fuck? I don't think you're going to be able to. Because if he's still alive, then everything that happened happened because he wanted it to. So, I don't think you should go over there. 
Well, uh, Cindy Tipton. Um, Who's that? Uh, my ex, my ex-wife. Apparently, she received a message uh, from the thing that Norman took from me. What? This is uh, there. There is a lot to unpack here, but uh, yeah. Uh, when she told me that, I've been racking my brain about how this could work. Uh, and the only way this would work is if Norman actually survived. And what, what did what did you receive? I gotta listen to it. Can I listen to it too? I don't know yet. Let me listen to it first. Um, and then I'll go from there. All right. Yeah, please call me back when you're done. All right. I appreciate it. All right. I gotta listen to this. All right. Uh, hello? What? Oh, okay. Hang on. All right. Got to have the music, mate. All right. Boom. Let's go. Okay. Re <laughs> Reopen. After all that time, you better have a good ass day. All that planning, all of those people, and for what? I'm still here. You have achieved nothing but killing Cleo and Pez. The highwayman returns for blood, and all of you have become fragmented. Only empty shells of what, what? families or friendships that once were. Did you really think any of that would work? Blessed bullets, chains, Explosives. Whatever gods you pray to will die with time, and I will be there to reap them just as I will all of you. Cleo and Pez are just the first of many to come. I warned you of the dominoes to fall after them, yet you stood to fight anyway. Fuck me, dude. Now you will pay the price. Just ask Snow what it means to anger death. The pain and suffering it will cause. I will always find a way. Isn't that right, Jackie? Jesus. You all stood tall and proud together with hope in your hearts. And look at what it got you. Broken, beaten. Scarred and afraid. And now, without a daughter, a sister, a son, a brother. If you cannot stand against me together, what hope do you have to go at it alone? All of this is far from over. You all know I used to write things down when I was a man. Think of all the faces, all the names I can remember now. I am coming for you. All of you.
Is there anything you're being called? 